Hello, Alistair. Good evening, Slim Brother. It's week number four of the course. How many pounds have you lost this week? Four pounds. Excellent news, Alistair. Very pleased. What's your total weight loss? That's 18 pounds in all. Excellent work. What, how have you lost this weight this week? Um, sticking rigidly to the diet. Um, and I've upped my training, so I'm doing... Uh, I did 90 miles cycling last week. So that's a, a lot of pedalling. Slim Brother saw on Facebook that you'd been out jogging as well. Is this true? <laughs> no, I pressed the wrong button on my app. Because it's, it's a triathlon app, so you can log swims, runs, bike or other sports. And for some reason, it logged it as a 17 and a half mile run in one and a half hours, which is just, I don't think it's humanly possible. <laughs> so uh, that is incorrect? That is incorrect. <laughs> it was a bike ride. What was your highlight of last week? Um, highlight of last week? I think, uh, well, the highlight of this week, so far this week is that my resting heart rate is down to 55 beats a minute, which was one of my goals, if you remember, last week or the week yes. before. Was that my rest? Because that says that I'm getting fitter. Because um, when you're big, you, you know, okay, you lose four pounds, and you you might notice a bit that your trousers are looser, but you don't really look that much smaller. But if you've got actual data, for me, I'm just one of those people who likes data. Data says I'm getting fitter, so that's got to be good. Yeah. So and another thing that was great was that I was able to dance around ish to one of the kids' songs in church on Sundays, so that was kind of good. It involved doing squats, you would have been very impressed. And you're not Slim normally brother. fit enough to do that, are you, Alistair? Oh, no, well, I just wouldn't do it normally, because it's just not very becoming for a fat man. But <laughs> so you're feeling the extra energy is making you jump around in... Yes, I am. ...extra places. Yep, and I'm feeling more alert, and I'm sleeping like a log, and now I just generally feel very well. What's been your biggest challenges this week? Um, I'm trying to think, did I have a challenge moment? Saturday evening for some reason was a bit difficult. I don't know why, There's no, I can't work out what it was. I think it was, um, I had a really, really busy week last week and it was the first evening that I had to, uh, to relax. So it was like in front of the telly, in front of X Factor. And, but I didn't blow out, it was really good. The most I went to was some yoghurt and honey, so, and that's, that's legal, isn't it? So. Living the crazy life, Alistair. I, know, right? I just go wild <laughs> once in a while, you know, I just go mad. <laughs> it was your favourite, by the way, on X Factor? Um, hmm. I like Matt. Um, Wagner, I think. No, I'm really joking. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, brother was hoping that was a joke on Facebook. What, that I love Wagner? Yes. Well, you know, I mean, he's just... No, anyhow, I won't go there. I won't run the poor bloke down, but um, somebody needs to tell him. <laughs> <laughs> have you noticed any health benefits this week, Alistair? Uh, apart from your fitness? I haven't had a headache all week. I haven't... Ah, oh, yes, the old... Um, yeah? Privy... Is much better, thank you. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> After last week's. Uh... Yes, 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 yes. So yeah, so things are better in that in that in that direction. Oh, I discovered something wonderful: roast beetroot. Yes, I saw the talk on this on Facebook. So Tar tell us Tarragon how do you do that? So uh, you just get you know your bog standard beetroot as you would at, you know in your little plastic wrapper, and just chop it into cubes or whatever. no into nice chunky bits. Put it in the oven, a bit of olive oil, a bit of basil, a bit of tarragon, and the job's a good one. And what did you eat that with, Alistair? I had that with a baked potato and a nice steak. I treated myself on Saturday with some steak. Um, I just finally found myself, I, I think it was kind of like all the training was accumulating, and I just found myself needing a good lump of protein. So I just went for it with a bit of steak. And so, so it just shows, you know, you stick to the diet, you still lose weight, even though you eat very well. Many Thank of the you. slimmers have been slim, have been struggling this week because of the temperature falling. Yeah. How has it affected your training and your food choices? Uh, training, yeah, training's been interesting. From I think a couple of days where it's been really cold, you're feeling it in your muscles when you're cycling. So your muscles seem to kind of talk, tighten up or shorten. Um, so I've happened to be stretching a bit more. Um, 
I've been trying, I have to confess I've had two or three more cups of tea than I would normally and it's been kind of like trying to warm myself up. And foods that I might have eaten cold, I'm now heating. Like today, um, I had warms, well I put them into an omelette, I had sardines, but I normally just have sardines and salad. Um, but I put them into an omelette because I just needed something hot at lunchtime. So I am feeling the cold. Um, you know, hey, you know, I'm feeling healthy, so what's that? Finally, Alistair, what's your goal for next week? Um, to eat 10 bars of cabbage dairy. Milk. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> um, <laughs> I would, uh, if I keep taking £2 off a week, I'm happy, and anything over that is a bonus. So just keep losing weight will be good. Um, whether my heart rate will come down a bit more, I don't really know. It would be quite nice to see the bike speed up a little bit and stick to the diet. I don't know what next week brings.